actually these were 47 pieces. Uh, this is a washing plant uh, okay. run of mines, mm. which is uh, already tambored. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would like to give uh, this uh, one part uh, this part. I mean, uh, the selected material, which is almost of the same type, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the weights are here, just to show how much uh, we have given. Uh, it will give each sorter for us to just uh, understand how much time it will take for the EPD and also for the uh, manual uh, breaking of the same uh, quantity. So we we'll right okay. now. Uh, we are looking at the quality, uh, which is almost the same, and uh, we just want to make sure that uh, whatever results we get or whatever after effect of uh, the machine, we'll be able to compare. So right now we are putting that amount of stones that we've been agreed on the sample that we test in two places. One half for EBD and the other half for manual. So we take and, and place that amount in the chamber. The sieve we have is 16 millimeters. It's all right. So we have it all in the chamber, that much. And now we want to try and disaggregate. So we had that amount that passed through a 16 millimeter sieve. There was just four uh, stones, little stones that was coarser. We've decided to stop after one minute, isn't it? Yes. One minute. Uh, so I'd like uh, Mr. Uh, Jackson to comment what will be uh, actually seen on the screen. So we take that and uh, basically sieve it through four millimeter sieve, right? Sure. Thank you very much. Okay, can you place it inside? Okay, so uh, can you hold it like that, please? Yes, like that. Just, just to show it. So I pull that on myself, okay? And then I basically try not to spill. Then I have all that amount in one angle. I, I take this little pinch of the plastic here and I make sure that everything went to the sieve. To make sure that it all went off, I take this bucket, I take a little bit of water, I place it inside, and once again I wash it. What is it? That's it, it's clean, more or less. Okay, I take it aside, I can use it twice if it's still working, if there are no, uh, you know, threads in it. I make sure there is nothing in here, also pull down there. And now I do a little bit of sealing to take, to clean it from the mud. And this is how much material we've been disaggregating via 16 millimeter sieve. Okay. Thank you. So, Mr. Jackson will now comment. Yeah, the EPD with 16 millimeter sieve, uh, the material according to the, uh, the type of material we used, most of it was just biotype coming from the TMAs. Uh, I can see that there is uh, some reparation that has been done and the stones are remaining on their own and um, the biotype also has been cleaned and what we are getting are clean pieces of uh, emerald that have less uh, schist on them uh, and uh, also the waste you can see that the tailings are also separate and uh, there's, there's, there isn't much remaining on the, the waste rock so you can see some nice emeralds that have been uh, exposed and uh, reparated. Can we try and do it by manually? Maybe it's cleaning also by manual as well. Does uh, it crush? This one, what do you mean? I mean, maybe, it's, maybe it's cracky, like this. Okay. With this, what is remaining is still intact. It's just an emerald. Okay. And, uh, you know, whatever was sticking or was still on the stones, because of the weaknesses in nature and the parting planes, the emerald has remained intact. And uh, what we are having are just separate small, small crystals by themselves. 
it's through crystallization, you know. Emerald does always have crystal structures where we have, uh, you know, uh, hexagonal shapes. So definitely you have that strength where the crystal will still remain intact and the waste will still be separated from the... So it was one minute roughly, right? Of yes, operation. we had a one minute uh, uh, operation. Uh, which has given us this type of results. Okay, so now we will uh, compare this with manual handwork the same amount, okay? We Yes, we will go through now the manual, we will time the manual work, we will see how much time it will take us to reparate the same amount of material that has been handled by the APD. Thank you. Yeah, basically this is now sealed, which has come through after the APD uh, action, and whatever is, has come down, under uh, 2.8 millimeters is actually sealed. Uh, this is of no gem value, but we can still balance up the mass weight. So we just want to weigh what has been taken down as our sealed, so that we can balance the mass weight. So we have cobbing process of the same amount of sample here. So far, how many minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes. So first so far, it's already three minutes. Some material gets to the floor. Some material are still put aside because it's predicted no crystals in it. Though you never know, we may want to process it again through EPD and make sure yeah. there are no crystals inside. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, through EPD you can still open it further. Yes. Let's see what is inside. Yes. Some material spills to the floor. Okay, altogether, this session is four point half minutes. This is dried now and uh, that's the amount of sample that we received on EPD. Mm -hmm. That's the amount of sample that we've received on uh, recovered under chipping. Mm -hmm. This was one minute altogether of operation time. This was four and a half minutes of operation time by one man. This much was tailings. We don't know how much and these are stones. Now people will do a little bit of sorting and compare the quality. Covered from here and also what is going to be recovered from there. So we'll give, uh, uh, is it possible to just give one person to do the same? Sure. So that we know the time exactly. that it takes for Exactly, them. exactly. That's a good okay. idea. Yeah. I think what we do, let me give it to Tembo. Take a clipper. So, we will take a clipper. You will start with this one. See how much you're going to do a clean. Anything that is for chipping. Then in here also, do the same, separate. Yeah. On two different yeah. on two different containers. Yes, yes. So first this yeah. and then the other. Exactly. Okay, you can start with this. Go. Do it. That's we quickly sorting EPD results and compare it with the manual work after sorting. Here are tailings and here are crystals there. Mm. 
Now he will perform clipping. And he and you can see is it easy to clip? This one is easier to clip than before? Yeah. Easier than before, right? You see? Much easy to clip. It's like soft, eh? Yeah, it's soft. This is clipping after EPD. Most of the crystals are already clean. Okay, these are tailings, more or less. Yes? Okay. And these are clean. 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 Yeah, after cobbing. And okay. You can just okay. use what I can tell with you. Okay, can you please comment? Uh, yeah, what I, can, what I can only say is that in EPD, uh, the material looks more cleaner as compared to the manual. Because uh, there is a lot of biotype that has been removed, a lot of uh, silk which has been lost. Yeah. Okay. So it's closer to the product and you're able to see it properly. This one needs to go for retumbling for us to now find the root. So uh, it'll be adding time for basically preparation. Yes. Yeah. This one doesn't need drumming, right? No. Well, this, at this stage you can go straight into 14. <laughs> nice. Thank you.